do you know that feeling when you have a photo and you think it's super awesome and then you look at the photo and it's blurry and you think it's useless? Well, it's not because you can remove the blurriness and you can make it super sharp. I got an amazing tool that can make photos sharp again. So if you got photos and you think they are useless, we're gonna save those photos using a really awesome tool. Now the tool that I'm going to use is called ARRT Image Enhancer and with ARRT Image Enhancer, we can save blurry photos. So let's go here inside the tool and the only thing we have to do here is we have to import our photo. So here I have a blurry photo, you can see here. Let me zoom in how much blur this photo got and this looks pretty useless but we're gonna save the photo. It's already processing our photo while we uploaded this here. Now we just have to wait until this is done with processing and then we can go to the settings and make it even better. It is done with processing and let's have a look at the result before and after and look at that. Look how sharp the photo got, even with this artwork in our hands here. Let me zoom in here how sharp this is. Before, after, that's super sharp. And let me zoom out here. This looks like a great photo again. So you can see how awesome this works when you have blurry photos and you wanna make them sharp. Here we have the settings for the photo. You can try out different AI models. They have five different models. And when you click this question mark, you get some information about the model. So here you can select which one fits your photo best. Let's close this one. As you noticed, we have two pass processing enabled. That means that the photo is processed two times which make the photo even sharper. We can disable this if you want a little bit less sharpness, but I think for this photo, it looks actually great. And here you can select which one do you want to use for the second time processing. I have more detail here, and the first one was the Smooth V3 model. We also have face restoration where you can restore faces. And the next thing what we need to do here is we need to export this photo. So if we go to the export settings here, we can select from JPEG, PNG, and PNG 16 bits. Then we have the DPI and then we can go all the way to 1000 DPI. We can select the quality for the photo. Let's keep it at 100 to get the best possible quality. Then we need to select an output part where you want the photo to export and click on single export and it's done. And that's how easy it is. And let's have a look at the photo. This is the exported photo and look how sharp that it is. We can use the photo again for anything that we want. So the photo is not useless anymore, that's how easy it is. Check the link in the description to try it out yourself and maybe this will save your blurry photos to get them awesome again. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one.